Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. In today's presentation, we'll be looking at how do you check for normality? When you are working on Pearson's correlation or any of the other parametric tests, you will be expected to check whether the distribution follows normality or not. The question is, how do we check easily whether the data that we have follows normal distribution? Now, to answer this question, there is a very, very simple technique. It's a graphical technique, which is called as PP plot. I repeat, PP plot. PP stands for probability, probability plot. Some people also refer to this as percent, percent plot. Now, using the probability, probability plot, or simply put the PP plot, we can check whether the data follows a particular distribution. And that can be any distribution. You can check whether the data follows normal distribution, chi-square distribution, beta distribution, Weibull distribution, gamma distribution, or any of the other distributions. In this particular video, I'll be specifically uh, focusing on the normal distribution. To show how the PP plot can be used, what I will do is I will just open up a data set which is called as employee data set. To do this, let me click on the file menu, choose the second option, open, then data. There are a lot of files here, which SPSS provides by default. Let me choose the file employee data set. And as you can see here, this is the file uh, that SPSS displays. So I have got variables like ID, gender, birth date, education, job category, salary. If I scroll to the right side, I've got other variables like beginning salary, job time, previous experience, and minority. So how many variables do I have? To answer this question, I'll have to click on the variable view. You can see here, I have got 10 variables. And what is the sample size of this data set? Let me go to the last record. I can uh, see that there are 474 employees who have given uh, information. So the sample size is 474. So for this data with 10 variables, and 474 sample size, I want to check whether some of the variables follow normal distribution or not. How do we check for normality? There's a very simple option called as PP plot, which I was uh, speaking about. To access this particular option, please choose Analyze menu. You can click on the second option, Descriptive Statistics. It displays the menu under this particular option. You can see there are a whole lot of options I will choose the last but one item, namely PP plot. You can see all the variables uh, displayed uh, <clears throat> in the canvas uh, on the left hand side. I will choose the variable previous experience. It tests whether this variable, the observed data, follows normal distribution or not. You can see here test distribution. Uh, below this, by default, the option is normal. When I click on the drop down menu, I can see other distributions as well, like beta, chi square, exponential, gamma distribution, half normal, Laplace, uh, logistic, uh, log normal, normal, anyway, we have uh, seen, uh, Pareto distribution, student T distribution, Weibull, or uniform. You can check for any of these distributions. You can check whether the variable that you have in hand follows any of these distributions by specifying the appropriate degrees of freedom. I will not choose any option. I'll go with the default option of uh, normality. I want to check whether the observed data here follows normal distribution or not. You can see how simple it is. We are not writing any syntax. We are not uh, coding this. You have to just click. And SPSS very quickly comes back with uh, a PP plot. You can see here, this is uh, the picture of PP plot. The heading is normal PP plot of the variable previous experience. As you can see here, the X axis is observed cumulative probability. And in the Y axis, I have got the expected probability. And you can see a diagonal line here and a few uh, circles here. How do we interpret this particular chart? How can I look at this particular graph and say whether the variable previous experience follows normal distribution or not? There's a very simple idea here. And that is when you look at these points here, or when you look at these circles, these circles 
should lie along the diagonal line. I repeat, if your data follows normality, you will see these circles here lie along the diagonal line. If it lies along the 45 degree line, you can see that the variable follows normal distribution. As you can see here, in this particular case, the variable previous experience does not lie along the line. There is some amount of departure, especially at the center. However, at uh, the corners, especially at the tail, you see uh, it might still be lying along the line, somewhat lying along the line, but especially at the center, what you observe is that there is departure from normality. So what is my conclusion? My conclusion here is that the variable previous experience does not follow normal distribution. Ideally speaking, if this variable were to follow normal distribution, as I mentioned, it would be lying along the diagonal line. This is a very simple thumb rule to check whether the variable follows normal distribution or not. Just take the variable, run a PP plot, uh, please evaluate whether or not the circles are lying along the diagonal line or not. If it lies along the diagonal line, your data is not normal, else the data is not normal. What I'll do at this stage is I will show some of the other options that are available in SPSS PP plots. This is the variable. I'm not going to disturb any of these settings. Now, since we saw that the original variable is not normally distributed, the question is, can I apply transformation of the original variable and derive a new variable? And then check whether the derived variable, the new column that I am obtaining after transformation, whether the derived variable follows normal distribution or not. SPSS makes it very, very simple for us to apply transformations. Now, you don't have to, again, keep any formula, any function in mind. All that you need to do is click on some of these options. Some of the options that are available are natural logarithm uh, transformation. You can also uh, standardize the uh, values, or you can take a difference, right? I will not choose uh, the second or the third option. I will go with the default option of uh, natural log transformation and then click on OK. As you can see here, once I transform the data, <clears throat> please take a look at this. This is uh, the variable previous experience. And uh, I can see the PP plot for this. Now, this variable now has been transformed. How have we transformed it? We have applied a simple logarithmic transformation and we are plotting whether the derived variable of uh, previous experience obeys normal distribution or not. Earlier, the PP plot for the original data looked like this. Please look at this. It looks uh, more like a bow. And I can confidently say that this original variable does not follow normal distribution. Once I transform the variable, this is how the data looks like. So logarithmic transformation would be an appropriate transformation for this kind of data because post logarithmic transformation, we observe that the data follows normal distribution. Now, just out of curiosity, what I will do uh, is I will go to the analyze menu choose the second option, descriptive statistics, and then click on PP plots. I will unclick natural logarithm, the natural log, log transform, and choose other options like current salary, beginning salary, months since higher. Now, these are all the original variables that I have. I want to check whether these four variables follow normal distribution or not. Let me click on OK. SPSS in the output window produces the output. We are familiar with this. This is the PP plot. <clears throat> now let me look at the variable current salary and look at its distribution. Now, when you look at the distribution of current salary, please follow the heading here. It says normal PP plot of current salary. This variable again does not lie along the diagonal line, indicating that the observed data does not follow normality. So the variable current salary is not normally distributed. Proceeding in this manner, I can also check for beginning salary. Again, you see the variable 
is not lying along the line and therefore you can see that the variable beginning salary so this is the normal pp plot for beginning salary this variable again does not follow normal distribution let me scroll further down and look at the last variable this looks a lot better though uh, it is not exactly normal but it looks a lot better than some of the earlier graphs that we were able to see please look at uh, the earlier graphs that we have seen this is how the earlier graphs look like but this particular graph is more or less normal it is approximately normal so that will be my conclusion that months since higher follows normal distribution approximately whereas the other three variables uh, simply do not follow normality now what is the appropriate transformation if you want to quickly apply some transformation and check whether uh, post transformation these variables follow normal distribution or not all that you can do is select the variables and choose the option natural log transform and click on okay spss is running the plot it displays what is the status as far as log transformation is concerned we are we are familiar with this particular uh, graph what it does is it is uh, uh, it applies a log transformation and then for the derived variable of previous experience it plots this graph we are familiar with this this uh, is a lot better than the original variable let me look at uh, the next variable here how does this look so for current salary log transformation has not uh, helped much because uh, even after transformation i still see that uh, i still see that this variable does not follow normal distribution let me proceed further this is the variable beginning salary it is the same story whether you apply transformation or look at the original variable this variable again does not follow normal distribution let me look at the last variable that i have this is uh, months in sire i do not see too much of an impact i do not see too much of a change after transformation it is as good as uh, the original variable the original variable for months since higher itself followed normal distribution so <clears throat> with this i come to the end of today's presentation to summarize the discussion that we have had we looked at what is pp plot i demonstrated how you can apply pp plot to check for normal distribution apart from normal distribution there are other distributions as well that are available and you can check whether your data follows any of these distributions like gamma weibull pareto chi square beta or some of the other theoretical distributions that are available thirdly we looked at what tricks that we can apply if the original data is not normally distributed one simple but very very effective trick that you can use when the original data is not normally normally distributed is to simply transform the variable apply a log transformation you can apply other transformations as well like reciprocal sine inverse cos inverse tan inverse or uh, you can apply a square root transformation these are all certain transformations uh, uh, that are available at your disposal to make the original data follow normal distribution there's also another interesting uh, transformation called as box cox transformation i will not be talking about this but please be in the know that uh, there are a lot of other transformations as well which you can apply to check for normality i uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this uh, video i request you to subscribe to my channel and share uh, this video with your friends and relatives thank you very much have a good day